I play David Bliss, uh, the father to Simon and Sorrel and husband to Judith. He's the patriarch of the family. He is a novelist. Um, he says himself that he writes very bad novels. He is over the top and brash. I mean, everybody in this play is completely over the top. But he kind of comes in with this power that um, I don't get to explore very often, which is a, a challenge that I'm really looking forward to undertaking. <laughs> I am playing the character of Judith Bliss, who is the mother of the family. So she just retired um, as an actress in London, and she's moved out to the country to try really hard to be landed gentry and live a simple life with her husband and her children out there in her garden and all of that. She has theatrics embedded in her soul. She's just larger than life, and there's champagne running through her veins that's the kind of feeling that she has and so as an actress it's so much fun to just go out there and be able to um, live a life that is larger than normal everyday life. My character Sorrel Bliss she's such a vital person it's she's kind of the person who's like the grass is always greener on the other side so she knows she comes from this hectic family yet she wants to you know kind of take a step away from that and see if there's more that she can experience and get out of life and hopefully this weekend is a chance that she can interact with these guests who are essentially what she wants to be in the world. I am playing Simon Bliss. He is the son of Judith and David Bliss and he is kind of a early 20s, highly intelligent, very bored young man. I think I like how clever he is and how much he enjoys being clever and how much he looks for opportunities to kind of seem smart. There's a lot of, he can be very smart, but a lot of times his desire to seem intelligent or his desire to be funny is also itself funny. So I think he has a lot of opportunity for comedy. My character Sandy is this amazing guy. He like has this like youthful energy and he's just basically like a puppy dog really. Like it's incredible. I don't really use, uh, usually choose like animals for like my characters, but this one was just so clear like this man is a puppy dog and he's tender and he is very gentle. I am playing Jackie Coriton. She is a flapper that some of the other characters don't describe as being terribly bright. However, I would contend that she just has sort of an off-the-wall perspective on the world. She tends to say things that like take people to catch them, like they need a minute to catch up to what she's just said. Um, things that seem really obvious to her. So I play uh, Richard Gretham in the show, who is described as a frightfully well-known diplomatist. So he's a diplomat, um, and he is older, and he uh, is very much very well-mannered. He's very posh. He has a much different energy than um, the family. He's very put together in the beginning of the play, but slowly as the play goes along, he starts to unravel, which is really fun to play with. So Myra Arundel is, um, I like to think of her as a jaguar. She, she is all about the chase. She has her prey in mind, um, and she always has a secret. She's a very powerful character, and she's very confident in who she is. Um, and, it's, and it's a joy to pay, play a character who is so um, on top of things as well as sort of on the prowl. 